Okay, this is on Georgia's first defensive touchdown they give up, and I was really confused on the coverage concept because I really thought that Dalen Everett had done a poor job in his man technique. Um, but now that I see later in the game how it was supposed to work, I understand now why they are positioned and giving this leverage away. So basically you have Dalen Everett over the top, man off. He has help though to the inside with Buller because play side to the trips, Walker and Tyke and Lassett are all in man-to-man. -man. But this is the reason why Dalen's playing off is because when he makes that inside cut, if he's trailing on the hip, he should squeeze it down a little bit more, but Bullard should be there quicker. And the problem with this is first off, the turf was sucky. Um, from what I understand, they put the turf down like three or four days before they play the game. Did, you know, so there he is slipping, so that puts him one step behind on his read-react drill. Plus, he comes down, and Taiki's guy and him and the referee all create this sort of weird screen for him. So he comes up and does a, a poor angle here. But, I mean, from his attack point, you would think that he would need to be in that spot. But he doesn't get over the top well enough, and then, of course, you get the touchdown. Now, the reason why I know it's not poor coverage by Dalen is because we get the same play later on in the game, but this time Bullard totally redeems himself. Again, you can see down the bottom of the picture, there's a little bit of a hat. Uh, you can see the hats of the receiver and Dalen. He's doing the same thing, giving the inside leverage. You got trips away. They're running the same concept here in man. But watch Javon Bullard this time. He sees it way earlier and reacts to it, and this is blowing somebody up. So I'm going to let you guys watch it in full steam right here. I love this play. Same thing. There's Bullard. Bam.